Hey guys, it's Cynthia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be sharing with you guys 20 different ways you can wear a white t-shirt featuring a few different styles. Walking downtown and I'm Starting off with shorts, you can never go wrong with a plain white tee and some denim shorts, even when you're wearing house slippers like me. But paired with some white sneakers, this outfit is super clean and classic. I'm gonna throw on an oversized corduroy jacket and swap out my sneakers for some leopard slides and a matching circle crossbody bag to make it a little less basic. Another easy way to change up your white t-shirt is to tie it at the bottom, which will cinch in your waist. I'm wearing some platform Doc Martens paired with a few black accessories and an oversized denim jacket on top for a trendier and edgier denim on denim look. Walking downtown and I'm okay. Next, I'm swapping out those denim shorts for a pair of black ones, which I'm wearing with some white booties. Everyone's looking like they know what they're doing. Everyone's looking like they know what I'm doing. You can never go wrong with a monochromatic look, so I'm also going to throw on a crop black jacket on top, as well as the docks and a belt to tie everything together. I'm swapping out my plain white tee for this one with a really adorable spam Gudetama graphic and pairing it with some pattern shorts. White tees are a great way to showcase printed bottoms, like how I'm doing with these yellow gingham shorts as well as these striped paper bag shorts, paired with some accessories and matching colors. You were never made for Next for skirts, I'm swapping out my Gudetama tee for this one with really cute floral embroidery detailing which complements the pink corduroy skirt I'm wearing. Like the shorts I just showed, white tees are a great way to draw attention to colorful bottoms and adding on complementary accessories will literally transform your outfit. next look, I'm starting off with a simple black denim skirt with some black leather booties and to elevate the look, I'll be throwing on this boxy gray plaid blazer with some pink detailing and some matching pink hair clips and a black bag. You can also never go wrong with layering a black leather jacket on top of a plain white tee and to make things a little more interesting, I'm wearing those white leather boots to subtly add a statement while still matching the rest of the monochromatic look. Next, I'll be wearing a classic denim skirt with a white t-shirt tucked in, but to change things up, I'll be layering on a silky black cami with some pearl hair clips and a matching black belt. This looks really cute with white sneakers, but you can also swap those out for some black booties and throw in a matching black bag to make it a little more fancy. White tees also pair really nicely with maxi skirts, and I'm wearing this flowy layered leopard print one with some matching hair clips and black booties. I'm also throwing on a crop denim jacket on top with a matching black bag to tie everything together. This next look really gives me like Arho vibes, but I'm simply pairing a plain white tee with a long black maxi skirt and my platform docks for some edginess. I threw on a matching black bucket hat and a printed canvas tote and you have yourself a look that's both cool and comfortable. <laughs> For dresses, I'm starting off with my go-to black dress for formal events and layering it over a white tee and also throwing on my docks to really dress things down. This look is already really cute, but to make it even more casual, I'm adding on that same canvas tote bag, some pearl clips in my hair, and tying my oversized denim jacket around my waist, which is good not only for cinching in the waist, but also for covering your butt from curvy strangers. Similarly, you can also layer a jumpsuit on top of white tee like I'm doing with this red button-up one. I'm wearing my platform old school Vans, a mustard yellow tote bag, and a scrunchie, which all together give me vintage -y vibes. This 
also pairs really well with my Continental 80s, which also have a more vintage design, and the red stripe in the shoe really complements the red in the jumpsuit. And finally, you can also dress down a fancier dress, like this silky blue slip dress, by throwing a t-shirt on top and tying it at the waist, which will not only give the illusion of a higher waistline, but allow you to wear those fancy dresses that might have just been sitting in your closet. This pairs really well with both white sneakers as well as docks if you want a more edgy look. For jeans, I'm starting off with some classic black skinny jeans and black booties for a really streamlined look and throwing on a black leather jacket and a buckle belt that matches the hardware of the jacket. This really ties the look together and pairs well with literally any style of black shoes. If you want a little more color, you can swap out the plain white tee for a graphic tee and add in accessories that bring out the colors on the shirt, like I'm doing with the colored clips in my hair as well as my yellow toad. White tees are also great for under blazers, and I'm just throwing on a brown plaid blazer and adding on a tortoiseshell belt, hair clips, and brown cross body bag to really play to the warm brown tones of the outfit. And having Gudetama hiding underneath the blazer is pretty cute too. This also pairs well with my other gray plaid blazer, and this time I'm just swapping out my shoes and accessories for ones that match and bring out the cool tones of this outfit. For a more casual look, you can throw on an oversized jacket like this corduroy one and swap out your shoes and accessories to change up the look, like how I'm doing with my edgier Doc Martens and yellow tote with my fancier leopard print slides and crossbody bag. Another classic outfit is a denim jacket layered on top of a white tee and black jeans and sneakers. This is a great way to wear a bright colored statement accessory like my yellow tote. This looks good with both fitted and oversized denim jackets and is a good opportunity to wear some statement shoes as well, like my white leather boots. Next, I'll be swapping out my black skinnies for some classic blue mom jeans paired with a simple white tee tucked in. You can easily dress this look up by putting on some fancier shoes like my slides or these cap toe heels and matching accessories to elevate the classic white tee and jeans look. I also love pairing my white tees with mom jeans, white sneakers, and a leather jacket on top for an effortlessly cool look. I used to be really intimidated by the denim on denim look, but I found that pairing similar washes on top and bottom look best on me, and wearing a white tee underneath is a perfect way to break up the homogenous color, and also is a great opportunity to throw on a colorful accessory like my yellow tote. I'm switching back to my graphic tee tied at the waist and pairing it with my mom jeans and accessories with complementary colors, making the outfit a little more interesting and fun looking. White on white is a really sophisticated look, and I'm breaking up my white jeans and white tee by adding on a belt, shoes, and bags that are all in the same color family to keep things more uniform. Just don't wear this if you're someone who's very prone to spilling things on yourself. To add more color to the white on white look, I'm swapping out my plain white tee for a graphic one and again pairing it with matching colored accessories and shoes. The shirt looks good either tucked in or tied up and I find that changing up your hairstyle can also add a lot to a look, so I have my hair up in a ponytail using a matching pink scrunchie. If it's a little chillier where you live, you can also wear your white tees underneath your coat like how I'm doing with this lightweight oversized gray one, and to keep it casual, I'm just wearing my white sneakers and adding on a canvas tote. To elevate this look, all you need to do is swap out the sneakers for some heels or flats like these black pointed slingbacks and pair with a matching bag like my crossbody and backpack. White tees are also super easy to incorporate into loungewear like sweats, or in my case these olive colored joggers. I'm pairing this with my white sneakers and adding on a bucket hat and canvas tote for a cool look, but to make things a little bit edgier you can also throw on docks, and I'm layering on a black jacket as well, which you can also wear tied around the waist. 
You can also pair your white tee with leggings and white sneakers for a foolproof comfy look. I'm matching mine with some Adidas stripe leggings, and I'm also wearing my pink cap for a sportier look and also to hide my gross hair, and I'm also going to throw on my favorite sweatshirt around my waist. Let me know which outfit was your favorite, and please subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching! Thank you.